hello what's going on guys and welcome to my channel uh, today i want to show you how to calculate slab loads um, as, as the title says uh, most of the people are struggling to know how to calculate loads from slabs to beams and mostly uh, because teachers when they are teaching us about analysis they don't teach us these things they are very simple things but they don't teach us so uh, we have uh, I, I, I prepared this in AutoCAD because I didn't know other way to do it but this is my two-way slab and this is my one-way slab and I will try to show both on how to do this so I have just uh, uh, created this and this is the length L and this is uh, B and uh, first things to know here is that uh, for example um, this beam 1-2 will have uh, its, uh, its load will be coming from this area area 1 and uh, uh, the beam 3-1 will be coming from area 2 and the rest uh, it's like the it's, it's symmetry so as you can see now the most important things to know is that uh, uh, this is the small distance and this is the the, uh, the higher distance or I should say uh, the longer distance now this point where these lines meet is half the distance of small length most most of the time this length is called LX so half of LX is uh, is the distance which uh, this point is located so um, it, it, it should create a perfect square here of a half of half B so if I draw a line from here perpendicular and uh, perpendicular I will have a perfect square so with that being said uh, let me show you how we can do this and I will assume that my load that is applied on my slab is uh, 5 kilonewton per meter square uh, is a dead load okay so I also prepared this one uh, it's just a PTC method so for the uh, for the, this program I had to assume the numbers that's why so I assumed that uh, 20 meters for for I've assumed 20 meters for this one uh, length which is L1 and 15 meters for for the shorter span now um, as you can see here so L2 which is uh, this this is important we, 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 we have to know L2 because uh, as you can see um, we will need this distance from here to here we will need this when we are calculating this area when we are using trapezoidal um, formula to calculate this area we need this distance that's why I put it here as L2 and how do we get this we know that uh, up to this point from here uh, to this point is uh, half B and on this side is also half B that means what remains here will be uh, L1 minus uh, minus B is the the remaining here so if um, because on my calculations I assumed this as um, uh, the B is 15 that means if I take uh, 20 minus 15 I get 5 what I did here is just put L1 minus 2 into half B so I get 5 okay so the area of trapezoidal is uh, this one which is half time the longer span plus L2 um, uh, let me show you again is uh, you take this length plus this length uh, into bracket multiply by half multiply by the height the height um, uh, meaning the distance from these two lines so as you can see here it is uh, half times L1 plus L2 L2 is here I got it from calculating times uh, because the height is half B so I put it half B and I got uh, this is a meter square which is um, 93.75 this is the square uh, this is the square meter of uh, area 1 okay and um, for area 2 um, for area 2 sorry this, uh, this is not supposed to be here okay for area 2 it is um, 
for area two it, uh, it's just a normal triangle so what i did is just taking half times b times eight which is what what is our height is half b this is the thing that you should always remember that uh, the distance which this these two lines meet is a half of the shorter span okay so um uh, that being said so let's assume that my um, my slab is loaded with dead load of five kilonewton per meter square so what do i do if i want to let's say i want to find um load uh, that coming from the slab to beam 1b uh what, I, what i'll do is um uh, i'll say let's say load will be equal to so what i what i'm going to do is i will take area one um area one and i will multiply it with the dead which is uh, my dead load my assumed dead load and this will give me um will give me my my load uh, uh, I, I'll, I'll put it to kilonewton uh, just uh, this uh, newton let me put it in kilonewton okay so it's like this so as you can see i this will be my dead load that is coming from the from the uh, slab and going to the beam so it will be 468.75 but the, the most important thing to know here is that this load uh, 468.75 this is like a point load as you can see the unit here it is a point load and I don't want it to be a point load what I want is for this to be um, I want this to be um, a uniform distributed load because uh, a beam when we load beams we load it with a uniform distributed linear uniform distributed and this is a point load so it's like we have uh, assumed the point load from the slab to going uh, which is going to the center of the beam now what we need to do for to get a a perfect load we need to divide this by the length of the beam so what i will do here to get my desired dead load as i'll call it d and then uh, dead should be equal to uh, should be equal to load divided by L1 divided by L1 and uh, this will be my and this will be my load um, I have to change the units here which should be K N and then here should be meter should be meter um, length. yes like this now this this is the load that I can use to design my beam this will be the dead load that I can use to design my beam uh, you, you need to remember that the load that you're getting from multiplying the area with the load that was applied to the slab that will be in kilonewton what we need is a load that is in kilonewton per meter so what we do is we take this point load and then we divide it by 20 or uh, I mean we divide it by the length of the beam this beam and uh, that's that goes for the same if we are trying to find the beam the load that is going to beam 13 what we do is we take this area we, we, we multiply it with the load that is applied here and then we uh, divide the, the results with the length because when we multiply area with the load we'll get a, a, a point load and then we divide it by this one so that we get the uniform distributed to this beam so that is how you you, you design or you, you, you get the, the beam loads from the slab and for this is for uh, a two-way slab now for one-way slab it's more easy what you do is you just take the you just take the load the area of this one and divide it by two simple for example uh if um, my, my if, uh, let's say i have this one is 10 and this one is three 
what I'll do, uh, my area will be 30. So 30 divided by 2, 15. So that means this beam will be uh, uh, this beam will be carrying uh, 15, and this will be carrying 15. So what I'll do, I'll take 15, multiply by my load, and that will be the load that is going to to each of the beams. And because it is a uh, one way, so that the beams will be carrying equal loads unless something is happening. Now uh, that is for the perfect simple uh, slabs. But that is not always the same. Uh, that's why I also have this one. Now this is taking for all type of slabs, even the complicated slabs. Now this is a very important and I will explain it right now. It's very simple. So this one is for like the slab we did now just now. Uh, if you don't want to go to the, all that trouble, you can just use this formula, which is um, this. Uh, they have defined this uh, as you can see here. Uh, this side is R2, this side is R4, this side is R1, and this side is R3. Also, K is uh, Ly divided by Lx. Ly is the longest span, Lx is the shortest span, while W is the, our load um, uh, our load so what do we do if I want uh, R2 I mean uh, load from this side or this side what I need to do is taking half multiplying by K K is LY divided by LX minus half times W into LX square now if you want uh, I, I will check this just to show you uh, if uh, they, they, they are correct so I will uh, go to here and I will just check it to make sure that we got the, we get um, this one. So they had uh, it, the, the formula was half was half and then multiply by k but k is um, k is um, ly divided by lx. So I will just write my I will just write my oh, you, never mind I will just I'll define K here uh, very quickly I'll define K is um, K should be equal to LY which is our L1 and then um, LX which is our B so yes Okay, so now I will just put K and then uh, and then uh, minus half into W times LXX. Okay, so minus uh, half. Okay, and then multiply by W, but W is our dead, so dead, and then multiply by LX square. What is our LX square? Is B. So multiply by B and then square. So this should be equal to our, I'll just put K here. Yes. So as you can see, uh, we got the same results. So this one is very important if you want to save time. If you want to save time, this is very, very important. Okay, and this is uh, for, 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 for that uh, simple one that we did. But this can do for any kind of slab. For example, um, when you have, uh, let's say your slab is continuing on, um, on one side, but it is not continuing on either side. When we have slab of this nature, normally when we are doing it manual, we are assuming uh, it's like this one. It's like the one we did before, but uh, in mathematically we shouldn't do that, and we should use these formulas instead. Okay, and uh, if, if this one also, this one, this 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 uh, this side is continuing. <coughs> Sorry, and um, the, it's also showing how you can get your reaction to your beams. Okay, this side showing the one side, uh, the longer side is continuing and the rest are not. And it's like it has a lot of these uh, situations. For example, this one is both, these both sides are continuing. And normally when we do this thing again, 
we are you we are assuming like it should act like this one while in mathematical it shouldn't they also have uh, formulas for uh, if a slab is not continuing on one side let's say this slide this uh, this this uh, side is not supported so that means we have uh, only beams for, for, for we have three beams on three sides uh, so these are the formulas that, that, that we should use or if we have uh, this side is unsupported so this is a very very important uh, this is a very important document for any uh, structural engineer out there and um, I will leave my email if you want this if you want this document I will send it to you just say email me uh, and tell me that you need it but I would appreciate it very much if you subscribe first and then email me and tell me that you need this and I will just send it to you okay thank you very much and thank you for watching